So you're on a mountain filming a documentary. You're traveling light and want to keep the camera rolling because you're not sure what's going to happen next. Or maybe you're filming someone running their first marathon. They're approaching the finish line and your battery's running low. You don't have time to stop. Or maybe you're at a wedding, filming one of the most important moments of someone's life. You cannot miss anything and cannot stop recording. Or maybe you're perched on a cliffside, filming a rock climber attempting a new route. They've started climbing. Your battery's running low. It's flashing red. Should you risk it and swap the battery? Will I miss the moment? If only there is a way of having more battery power. Introducing the power bank relay system for DSLRs. This system allows you to power your camera using external USB power banks. These batteries give you about an hour of power at 8.14 watt hours. Power banks typically range between 20 and 50 watt hours. This equals about six hours of power. And you can double this by having two of them. So here's what you need to get started. First thing is a dummy battery, which is to mimic your camera's battery. Go on Amazon and search for the camera battery you use, and there'll be a matching dummy battery. You'll also need a case relay unit. This device allows you to connect a power bank to the dummy battery. You'll need two 15 millimeter rods for mounting, a couple of power banks, whichever ones you have lying around, some double-sided tape, and a small strap that tightens. I like to mount this setup on the back of the 15 millimeter rods that I attach to the base plate of the camera's cage. But you can be creative and mount this pretty much anywhere or any way you want. Place the power banks on the rods and fasten them tightly in place using the strap. Stick a piece of double-sided tape on the top power bank and attach the case relay. Plug it in. I like to wrap the cables around the rods to make sure everything is neat and organized. Now connect the dummy battery to the case relay. Clean up the cables. All you have to do now is plug the dummy battery into your camera. There should be a little flap on your camera's battery door that allows the cable to come out. Now attach the camera to your new system and you're set to go. Now here's the best part. If the first power bank starts to run low, you can unplug it without cutting the camera's power. The case relay stores some of the charge itself and continues to power the camera this way. So while you're switching to a fresh power bank, the camera will continue to stay on. This means that you can continue shooting even when you switch power banks. This is super useful when you have to keep the camera rolling. Say goodbye to carrying around eight batteries and feel confident about never missing another shot again. This system has helped me in a lot of situations, and I hope it'll help you too. Click the subscribe button for more documentary and filmmaking tips, strategies, and tutorials. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this, and comment below if you have any suggestions on how to power your camera for longer. I'd love to hear. See you next time.